Good morning and welcome to Coffee with the Callers. I'm Father Doug Jeffers and I'm here with Father James. And we are here with a guest this morning, Tom Karani. Tom Karani, nice Good morning, to Tom. Oh, hey. How are you this morning? Good, good. Teams. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? This is my first Coffee with the Callers. I'm well, excited. Well, welcome. Welcome to the set. <laughs> so uh, we are here this morning talking about the topic of spiritual formation and um, especially ongoing spiritual formation. Kind of talking about the idea that... Um, you know, your religious education, your formation, your spiritual growth, it's not something that you just kind of take care of when you're, when you're a kid, and then after that it's over, and you can go on and do other things with your life. It's something that's supposed to continue throughout uh, the process of a whole life. And so uh, we have Tom here to uh, talk with us about that, because, of course, Tom, your work is with spiritual formation of adults, right, uh, exactly. right here in our parish. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what do you think, if you had to sum it up, the importance of spiritual formation, how would you put that? So the, the Catholic Church, um, in some of her documents on catechesis, says that adult ministry, adult formation, the catechesis we do with adults and parents, is, is the primary ministry that should be done in the parish. Yeah. That's where education should really, uh, and spiritual formation should really take over. Um, and so, in my mind, it's all about mystagogy. Um, at the end of RCIA, there's this period of time called mystagogy, and it means being led into the mysteries continuously. Um, and that's something that we all have to do. We all have to keep thinking about the mystery of our faith and walking into it in a new way every day. So that's what I think about when I think about spiritual formation. There's so many ways to do that at St. Louis. Um, I mean, we run the Theology Institute, exactly. but there's also Kingsman, which Father James loves. He's there every Friday. Uh, there's, there's countless ways. It's the tacos <laughs> that bring me back. Really, Lupe's tacos. <laughs> He's quite good. They're great. They're quite good. But, but I think it's all about mystagogy. It's all about entering into the mystery in a new way every day. You know, one of the things that I talk to families about a lot when they're kind of just struggling with, you know, are their kids focused? Are they focused? I say, yeah, the way to do it is to get into the liturgy, mm -hmm. to live the liturgy. Mm -hmm. uh, almost like if you wanted to go to daily mass or mm -hmm. certainly put on like a calendar up on your, you know, pantry door so that you see, oh, today's the feast of this saint. It's the memorial of this saint. So kind of like how priests, uh, we go to daily mass and we're sort of living that liturgy every single day. I think families should do that, uh, almost like they could pray the prayer of that saint every day. Yeah. So this, you talk about kind of entering into the mystery. I think it starts with the liturgy. Of course. Uh, and at St. Louis, of course, that's a big priority for us. Uh, we, we take a, a lot of time and care, Father Jesse and Father Doug and myself, we really focus mm -hmm. on that yeah. uh, so that uh, it can be an experience of entering into the mystery yeah. on Sundays. And then, of course, that flowers into talking about it. That's really what theology is talking about right. God. Right. So, uh, Padre, how do you kind of bring together spirituality, kind of a term that's probably overused, yeah. okay. and theology into a oneness? What are some of the things that you think about bringing those two together? Yeah. Um, well, of course, the term is even out there, spiritual theology. Um, mm -hmm. And so if you think about it, there's a, there's a connection between those things. Our, um, our spirituality, our spiritual life, our spiritual growth is a growth in, in our knowledge of God and in our love of God. And those two things um, have to go together. And so it shows you that both of, those, both of those things tend to grow together, right? The more you know God, the more you're moved to love Him. The more you love Him, the more you want to know Him, right? And those, and those things keep going as they go in human relationships when we, when we want to know and love another uh, sure. human being. So um, theology in the kind of restricted sense of an an academic discipline. Well, not everybody has to go and get a degree in theology, but theology in the broad sense of pondering the mystery of God, pondering what He's revealed to us. That's something that's for that's something that's for every Christian, and uh, it's it's a, a fire that gets lit enough when we, lit inside us when we fall in love with God. Then we want to know Him, and and if we want to know Him, then we go to what He's told us about Himself, and we ponder it because it's deep and rich and many layered and. And we couldn't take it all in when we were in third grade and we first had our, our catechism lessons to get us ready for our, for our first communion. So it becomes a lifelong project to try to understand better the God that we love. I you know? totally see what you're saying. It's awesome that you bring that up, Father. So, uh, Tom, as we think about uh, kind of entering into the mystery, this idea that Father Doug talks about of you know, knowing and loving God and this ebb and flow of that knowledge and love of God, mm -hmm. if there was somebody out there at St. Louis and they're like, well, man, that sounds great. I want to. I want that. Yeah. What, what would they do? Yeah. Well, I mean, you said it first. Mass. You know, we have mass every day here. That would be a great way to do it. But we've also got countless adult faith exploration uh, activities that we do, like Kingsmen, like Women of Faith, 
Um, we've got our King's Theology Institute. We've also got this awesome media presence online um, that anyone can engage with St. Louis, can engage with the Lord, and learn more about it. So them. if they go to our website, they go to adult formation, and it's all going to be there. It's all there. Yeah, it's That's all awesome. There. Well, yeah. we're glad you're with us, Tom. You're doing Happy a great job. Yeah. We're, we're so glad that you're with us. Uh, Tom came to us about a little over a year ago now. Yeah, almost by and, one year. And uh, you've really done a fantastic job the first year you've been here. So thanks for your hard thanks, work, and, and we're glad you're with us. So thanks for, thanks for joining us on Coffee with the Callers. And uh, let's continue uh, falling in love with God and then uh, talking to God and studying about Him in that love affair. We'll see you on Sunday.